Hi guys, and welcome to part four of my Let's Complete... Oh, telephone. Hi, I'm Elf China. It's Paul. I might have a little result for you, but I need to speak to you in person. I'm enjoying a little R&R &R at the Club Malibu. I reckon you're going to owe me a favour or two out of this, sunshine. I'll see you later. Pretty good. Danny Dyer there. Um, we'll get to his... No, no, his. It isn't Danny Dyer, it's Kent Paul. We'll get to the Kent Paul missions uh, in a bit. At the moment, I've got some... What am I going to do today? I'm going to do the um, the A missions. Can't remember his name. Um, it's to do with like construction and also like beating people up at a golf club, stuff like that. So that's what I'll be doing today. Uh, also, at the end of this episode, I've, you you don't have to watch. Right at the end of the episode, I'm going to say goodbye and everything. But then, once the little my little theme tune has come on, I'm going to put on a, a sped up um, sort of video of me doing ambulance and taxi missions to some music or something. I don't know, but. They'll be boring, there's probably not much point watching them, but it's just to sort of prove that I did it, because I'm known for being a bit of a liar. Anyway, four iron, yeah, it's the golf club beating up thing. So listen to this. Come in and park yourself on the hide, son. Hell, my daddy used to say, never look a gift horse in the mouth. And by golly, he never did. Would you like a drop of the old Kentucky? No, thanks. A clean thinker. I like that. Now, the property business isn't all about highfalutin paper pushing. It's about dirt and the will to claim that dirt. You with me, son? Oh, yeah. Well, I need some tenacious bastard to let go of some dirt. And you look to me like the kind of guy to persuade him. Persuasion's my forte. Yeah, he'll be down at the country club, down on the golf course. They don't allow guns, so his bodyguards won't be packing lawgivers. Go beat eight tons of crap out of him. Here now, I got you a membership. And boy, you're gonna need more appropriate clothing. This guy's my new friend. I never had a friend with a wig before. Never had a friend with a what before? A wig? Did he say wig? He's got a hat on. Anyway. Whatever it is, if you could comment and let me know what is actually said, I'd quite like to know. Um, I, I'm pretty sure I heard him say wig, but he's not uh, not wearing a wig. I mean, and also, how can you tell? It's a, it's a. He's a computer sprite. Like I wouldn't be able to tell if he was wearing a wig or not. Right, let's go and put some golf clothes on. Me. Nice ass, baby. What's up, there we man? go. Um, hey, man, you want some looks quite nice. So we we'll head to the golf club now. Uh, you have to travel. You have to travel. Walk. Walking is a form of travelling. That's absolutely fine. I'm a bit tired today. I've got to be honest. So sorry. <laughs> um. These are, this is one of my favourite cars as well. These are really nice to drive. They're quite quick. They handle really well. I'm just setting this up um, ready because... Well, you'll see in a second. Right. So the guy is at the driving range, right? Used to be when you'd use the lovely GTA cheats. You'd walk through this. All your guns get taken off you. See? Then... Let me just get in this golf cart. You could uh, you could do the like a weapon cheat. Get the sniper rifle, shoot him, mission passed. But as you know, I'm not using cheats, so I need to approach the guy, and then he calls his bodyguards to beat me up. And then you need to chase him round the the golf club for a little while. And then once, eventually, at some point, he will try to escape from the golf club. 
So you just need to just follow him about. There's no point trying to do anything. I've tried it before where I've tried to knock him into the like the the water, into the sea and whatnot, but it doesn't really work out that well, so just a little bit of patience. I'm gonna do a yawn. Ugh. I think that's my first yawn of the Vice City series. Um you know I like to know if you, if if uh, my yawn was contagious. So let me know if you yawned after you heard me yawning. But this bit is quite boring. <laughs> I think it's impossible to roll over the golf cart. Like you can roll it over but it won't it won't stay rolled over like most cars. I'm gonna head towards the exit now to try and. Is he coming? He's gonna eventually come up this way. Look, look, look. Just sort of pops back. <laughs> it's like those little um, inflatable things that you get when you're a kid. Inflatable punch bags. And at the bottom is sand. So every time you punch it, it just keeps coming back up again. Do you still get those? I might be revealing my age a bit there. So he's going to come this way. I'm going to be ready for him. Get my gun. Uh, I'm going to jump in this car. Now it's just a case of just shooting him, really. I think, yeah, I've already taken out one of his tyres, so he'll probably crash or spin out in a second. Like that. Oh. Yeah, I should have shot him a lot more then. I had him sort of pinned for a second there. Go. There we go. Starting to run out of bullets, so. Boom. So, I think I'll go. Will I save this or should I just go straight to the next? I'm going to save it. Quickly go back and save it. Um, so, yeah, as I was trying to explain, but I don't think I explained it very well, at the end of this episode, um, it's just going to be a, a footage from the, what do you call it, the taxi and ambulance missions, which I have, which I've now done. Or rather, I'm about to do. Actually, I haven't done them yet, but I'm going to do them after I've done these load of missions. I mean, I'm saying this now, I might not do them. <laughs> I'm pretty confident I will. I'm going to do them early. Um, last series on GTA 3, I was doing most of the sort of story missions and things like that first. And obviously then doing things like ambulance missions and stuff like that has become quite po problematic. Because the gangs are after you, so... I thought I'd do the get him out of the way and then all I've got to do is the fire I'll do the I can't be bothered to do them as well I'll do them another day I'm gonna try and do the taxi stuff is easy it's the ambulance one that I'm a bit worried about um, although I have I have done it before so I'm confident I'll be able to do it again do I sound tired to you guys? Let's watch. What's the next one? Demolition Man. Oh, this is a good one. Watch this. Now look here, son. I got a problem, and I reckon you could help me with it. I'm no builder. No, I was thinking more of your demolition skills. Now this here, this is the development as planned, and this, this is the property that we're looking at. 
You're trying to say this new office block is kind of in the way. You catch on quick. Now, I'm gonna head out of town for a while, and if that office development would have faced sudden and insurmountable structural problems, then I... As a civil-minded individual, you feel obliged to step in and save the rejuvenation of an important area of the city. Where can I get more guys like you? So this mission, um, when I first played this game years ago, I found it really, really difficult, but it's just it's just a case of getting used to the controls of the little mini helicopter. Um, what you should avoid trying to do, I'm giving tips now, as if I'm some sort of expert, what you should avoid trying to do is panicking, because there is a set timer. I think you get seven minutes, which in this game is a long time. Seven minutes is a long time in this game. Um, you can you can do anything in seven minutes. So don't worry about the timer. Ignore the timer because all it will do is make you panic and think, you know, oh god, I've got to get this done. And be nice and calm and smooth with the controls, um, which I will try my hardest to. Use use all of them. You can use. I think it is. Um, it turns. You can tilt. You actually do have. You, once you've learned how to use it, you actually do. It the 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 control of the helicopter is actually quite good. Um, and then also. Be sure to look out for guys that are going to try and uh, hit you with their hammers and then eventually I think there's some security guards at some point that will try and shoot you. Uh, I think you get three lives as such. I think there are three little mini helicopters. Um, but I might be wrong about that. So... I'm going to try my hardest to just do this mission without being blown up. Um, if you are close to somebody that's trying to hit you, you can use your blade to... Like that. Boom. They're dead. Also, you want to try and not uh, bump into stuff. Because that will damage the the remote control helicopter as well. Quite a lot of concentration. <laughs> you do need to quite, uh, concentrate quite a lot. So, like again, I, c I couldn't even tell you what I just said to you in the last sort of 30 seconds or so because I'm just talking. Not sure if I'm making any sense or not because I'm mainly trying to concentrate. But look, five minutes, more than five minutes to go and you're already halfway through so don't worry about the timer you've got plenty of time to do this it's just it's just about keeping calm and there's a way of using the stairwell to travel a bit quicker there's sort of you can sort of go up uh, two flights somehow I think let's have a look yeah, see, I've gone up to I've gone up two flights now, and oh, I've missed the. Uh, is the camera angle that sort of? Oh, I'm not sure what I did with the flight of stairs. There. I'm not sure if I. If I I don't know who keeps driving past whenever I'm trying to do these videos but I can promise you now I'm sure you heard that motorbike or whatever was driving past my house I can promise you now if mm, if I do this mission you will be hearing that motorbike because I won't be going back to do it again one target left Oh, I'm losing control a little bit now. It's 
So what about being smooth and sort of delicate with mm, delicate with the controls because you can it is easy to panic on this mission and start driving a bit recklessly or flying whatever come on there we go all right and once you sort of get into that panic mode um then you'll end up just sort of crashing into stuff or being shot and your helicopter will explode so it's it's good to just take your time there's plenty of time i'm i am rushing a little bit right, come on no nope. right what have i done the stairs must be on the other side Two and a half minutes. Come on. Still plenty of time. Uh, uh. I don't want to blow up now. I've got to go up again. Yeah. Oh, for God's sake. Right, now I'm starting to sort of panic a little bit. <laughs> I thought I was on the right floor. Turn. Up, come on, face the way I want you to. Oh, thank God, I thought I was gonna have to go up another flight then. Right, where is it? There it is. Okay, here we go. Boom, nice. Now, that's quite a fiddly mission but it isn't impossible when this game first came out and I started playing it uh, that mission actually stopped me from playing the game for a while because I was just like I'm stuck on this mission and like that's it there's nothing more I can do but it's not a difficult mission you just need to get used to flying that little helicopter oh I think I'm going to go save it and then on with the next what is his name? my game guide is sort of it's not far away from me but it's not close enough that I can reach it I'm doing another yawn I'm doing another yawn I'm tired at the moment because um I'm working. I'm working at the moment. Let's have a look here. Get some ammo because I haven't got much ammo. Yeah, I'm working with Joe Thomas, who who you will know better as Simon from the Inbetweeners. Doing a little TV show together, which is good, but it does mean. <laughs> does me making these videos are uh, probably suffering because of it but you know nothing wrong with playing a little bit of Vice City in your free time a bit of hard at work <sighs> come on Play a little bit of Vice City. Phoenix. Here we go. Park up. Quick save. On with the next mission. Plenty of ammo. Short for ammo. Boom. Save. Yes. So. I think I've been. I think in the previous episodes I've been sort of. Keeping it in when I save. I think I used to sort of cut that bit out for some reason. 
think there is two more missions with this guy left. And that will be the end of the episode. And then... Uh, I might have the... Ta <laughs> I've, I've gone from... The, the taxi and ambulance missions will be at the end of this episode to... Now my stance is that there might be taxi and ambulance missions at the end of this episode. Uh, just because I'm quite tired. So, do this mission quickly and then I'll chat some more rubbish. Tommy, this is Donald Love. Donald, this here is Tommy Vercetti, the latest gunslinger to come to these parts. Help. Now, Donald, you just shut up and listen, and you might learn something. Now, nothing brings down real estate prices quicker than a good old-fashioned gang war. Except maybe a disaster, like a biblical plague or something, but that may be going too far in this case. You getting this down, you four-eyed prick? Now, recently a gang lord died. You disguise yourself and head on down and crash the funeral. Mix it up and then hightail it. You getting this down, Donald? Well, that ought to put the coyote in the chicken coop, huh? And then we'll just sit back and watch the prices tumble. So... Yeah. I'd like to know, um... In the comments... If you could leave a comment, let me know how you watch this. Do you? Because I've, uh, you know, I don't know whether you watch this on the go, like like watching it on your phone with some headphones or something like that, or uh, I don't know. Maybe you do make a little evening of it, chill out, crack open a beer or something. Um, yeah, I'd love to know. That's the kind of thing that I I do, you know. What I want to know about. Is that weird? Because, like, playing... Like, I I do play these sort of games on my own. Um, the whole point of putting them on YouTube is to sort of have the interaction with you guys, so... Yeah, let me know. Can you put um, photos in the comments? Like, I'd like to see, like... A selfie of you, I don't know, eating a takeaway, having a beer, whatever, little gin and tonic. I don't know why I'm encouraging drinking so much. I think that says quite a lot about me. That's what I like to do when I unwind. Um, yeah, I'd love to see what you get up to. Right, now, they've spotted me. So, what I'm going to do is, and this is a great little tip. I'm just going to, because uh, it gets a bit, oh man, that's some good driving. It gets a little bit heated around that area, so I've just decided I'm going to meet the, uh, I've got people on my tail. Yeah, I'm going to meet the hearse here. Now you got to watch out, oh man. Right, those coffins are actually little bombs. So you've got to keep away from them, but I've taken its tyres out, which is good. You don't want to drive over... Oh, man. Yeah, you don't want to hit those. Trust me. Whoa! Oh, I'm on fire. Now what am I going to do? Ah, oh, I thought the hearse was going to maybe blow up as well. I'm taking your car, mate. See ya. Bye. Right. Can't be much. They're very bouncy car, these voodoo cars. I think they've also got hydraulics, but I will look at that at a later date. Has he run off? Yeah, just run him over. There we go. And I think... Yeah, so that's the last of the... Oh, God, I can't remember his name. A-missions. 
the uh, building guy. <laughs> I can't. I can't think of words. Words have leaked out of my brain. Construction. B property developer. That's the word. That's the job title I was looking for. Um, if there are any property developers watching this, leave a comment. Let me know. Especially if you're successful. If you're like proper millionaire property developer and you're watching this, let me know. And let me know if you've ever introduced yourself as a building guy. That's what I really want to know. Oh yeah, James Buckley, building guy. Here's my card. I think that's going to catch on. Oh, let's listen to this. Hey, Leo. I got some work for you. This ain't Leo. Hey, if Leo knows you got his phone, he's going to kill you. Maybe Leo's already dead. Maybe I killed Leo and took his phone. Did you ever think of that prick? You killed Leo? You must have big on it. Want to work for me? Come by my father's cafe in Leo Havana. Right, that's a side mission. Get to that later. But it's time to save, say goodbye, thanks for watching. Please subscribe, please like, please comment. Uh, shall we have a little look? See see how we're getting on? Stats. 10%. 10% down. Boom. So, that's alright, isn't it? Only another 90% to go. Uh, yeah, as I say, thank you so much for watching. Please leave a comment because I love reading them. Until next time, I'm off. Adios.